Let's go. Welcome to the Sunday Roast, the 100k review pod. We're going to review the games. We're going to give some odds. It's a mini pod we want to get on. We're excited for it. Das, how are you? I'm very fucking good, Jeff. Had a good weekend. First weekend uh, off in a while. We've had some weddings and stuff on. It's been good to sit down all weekend and just pretty much watch every single game. So it's been fucking 100%. good. 100%. You, you and me have watched every single game start to finish. Oh, it's currently half time in, in the Bachelors game, St Kilda Freo. I'm watching it's half time. We're recording this now, but what are your thoughts so far on the weekend? Um, I thought Thursday was a little bit slow. I reckon after, well, actually, I reckon all the games have actually been really good. They've been really good to bet on. Um, you think even like with the lines, they're not that far apart, but I think so many of the games are going to be real close this year and it's a heap of momentum. Like teams are kicking three or four in a row and then the other teams are coming back. Like you saw Adelaide today were up. Uh, you saw Geelong, uh, Collingwood did it like five different times. They went up and back. Um, teams are just piling on goals really fast. So, as I said, it's very interesting and it's good to watch. Yeah, it looks like to me in 2023, it's all about pressure. And then when you win the ball, like everyone off half back is at full speed and it's just getting that forward line quick. And Collingwood look like they're the best at it right now. I watched the Swans last night. They look fucking good at it. It looks like that's going to be the way to win. Um, when we do this pod going forward, we're going to have either Pricey, Stenny, Dickey or Morgs on it with us. It's just you and me today, Morgs in Vietnam. We're just feeling it out round one. I'm excited for it. We've got a lot of notes here. So let's crack in, eh? Let's go. So we're going to start Carlton versus Richmond Thursday night. Your team, Carlton. I'm going to basically hand this one to you. Dustin Martin kicked the first of the season. He paid twelve dollars. What a champion! And then, what do you got from there, Dars? Well, you pretty much see after the first clearance, uh, McGovern hasn't been in the game for a while. Went straight through his mitts. Went straight into Dusty's hands. He kicked a goal. Um, just compared to like the Friday night, I thought it was like it was pretty pretty sloppy. A fair bit of turnover. I thought um, when the Tigers got going, I thought they neutralized the game really well, and we struggled to. In patches, like especially from kickouts, were really predictable, and we struggled to get it past that first line. Um, and then, but if we did, we got it out the back, and we were really quick. But look, compared to a few of the other games, I didn't think we were impressive at all. Let's hope it's just a bit of ring rust for both sides. Um, I thought George Hewitt started really well. He had eleven in the first, ten in the second. Um, yes, yeah, so he had twenty-one and a half time. He really got us going. And I thought, even though he's not in my votes, we will get on that. But I thought Louis Young did really well. Thought he played um really good role on uh, Jack Rewalt. And also, apart from his field kicking, and I know a lot of the boys rip into him, but Harry Mackay's running was unbelievable. I thought down the ground he marked the ball really well. Um, but just his field kicking and shots at goal, he was pretty miserable. I reckon Harry Mackay left about four goals out there. He had a five goal. He had, he had the big mismatch on um, Noah Bolter, I reckon. Thought Daniel Rioli, he was absolutely electric off halfback. He had a good game. And it after the game, although it was a draw... It felt like a Carlton loss and sort of a Richmond win. Like they came and pinched the draw and it was yours to sort of lose. I mean, you'll take the two points better than a loss. But yeah, to me, after watching, so I watched that game thinking, yeah, two genuine contenders. And then you watch Collingwood Geelong and you go, don't know if Carlton and Richmond are top four standard yet. Definitely not top four standard. They look good, but maybe not top four. Definitely finals. Um, Brownlow votes. Who'd you give give your one, two and three to in Brownlow votes? Want to go one first? Yeah, go one. So I went Doc. I just thought he was really good off the back line. He was pretty much our best player. Um, and then that goal, like when we needed that needed that that that, that, that settler, no one that could really good. get one. That and he went move. back. And it's like, boys, I've got this, and just absolutely fucking clear the fair. And like you could see, everyone got up and about. So just influential. Yeah. I thought he was really good. What about you? Nah, I haven't done Brownlow votes this game. I'd probably give. As long as Daniel Rioli gets maybe one vote. Yeah, you just go. I didn't oh, sorry, sort of watch him close enough. Doc? I did I did Taranto too. I thought yeah. that's exactly why the Tigers brought him into the side. I thought yeah, it was just... unbelievable in clearances. And he had three shots on goal. Um, one did make the distance and sort of fanned out in two points. If he kicks three goals, he's best on. But Dan Rioli off the half-back line was just – he absolutely tore us up. So well-deserved best on. So you're in Dan, Dan Rioli three, Taranto two, Sam Doherty one. Or like I'm, I'm just putting Doc in there. Like it depends what the umpires see. Like they yeah. might see Cripper's last quarter, him getting ten, too yeah. much contested possessions, or Louis Young doing a good job. But I'll give it to Doc. I thought Doc was best for us. And now you've got what have you got? You got Geelong this Thursday night. They're coming up yeah, a lot. So You'll be nervous about that. Hundred percent. So Geelong have just been humbled, and they're <laughs> going to come out and absolutely 
fucking rip us a new one. No one will be zipping two. No, I I said at the start, I'm like, look, you don't win premierships in March. But as long as if we could split the first two games, I didn't really mind. And then, um, look, we have a draw. If as long as we play them all right, and then our next draw after that's pretty good. But I know we're going to have some games where we're going to light some teams up. 100%. 100%. All right. Collingwood Geelong. Hot pies by 22. Game of the fucking year. This was a Friday night special, Das. Zach Tui kicked the first and he kicked the second. He paid 26 to 1 to kick the first. The pies are absolute box office. What were your thoughts, Dad? Well, that was the first thing. I can't believe we didn't even think about that, that it was fucking... Um, it was St. Patrick's Day. And, we, and it didn't straight up after. Zach Tui. Even any time. I know he kicked the first two, but he would have paid like two bucks any time. Oh, two. No, he plays up, but he would have been paying like five or six, I reckon. Yeah. Um, one thing, apart from all like the good players, how tough is Bo McQuarrie? Oh, he's tough as now. Like, I watched him a, f- a few games against the Blues last year. He's so tough. And this is one. I know we don't have the odds on this game, but he had 20 and kicked two. He'd never yeah. had over 15 before. That yeah. would have paid like nine yeah. bucks. And his leg speed, he's as quick as anyone. He he's tackles tough, hard. Though. Like, He's a he's a guy you can see getting a premiership medal in September. Like he's one of those key parts to a con. Got to love him. Um, uh, what well, one of the things before I let you touch on? I thought that the the, uh, the small in in Bobby Hill was unbelievable. Yep. Yep. He gave a spark, but I've just got a question. So with him in, um, Jack Ginevan still needs yeah. to come in. So does that mean Reef McGuinness comes out, and then you've still got Ash Johnson to come back in? Yeah. It's a tough one. If Bobby Hill, Bobby Hill might keep what's his name, Ginnivan out of that side. Like, who knows? Well, who like, knows what they're thinking? Reef McGuinness was the super sub and came in and just fucking dominated. Who's the bloke that fucking came from? Dan McStay. I thought he just watched the game. I don't think he's ever played in a crowd that big before. I reckon he was yeah, just watching. He, he wasn't that good. The Dacos boys. I think that is the last time Nick Dacos runs by himself again for this rest of the season. I see. He was. He was unbelievable. 35. He was unbelievable. Degoe, yep. 25 and 3. Tom Mitchell, we were talking about this. 20 and 2. And he he's turned, he doesn't have 35, 40 handballs anymore. He made every touch count. We were both saying this. It's more like Judd touches, wasn't it? Well, well, him him and Taylor Adams now, they said that different roles. So they just swapped from half forward to on ball. So as yeah. long as and like Taylor Adams hit the scoreboard as well. And then he got to go forward. So Tom Mitchell had 11 clearances. And he, that's the same thing. They were playing counter punch. So, so yeah, that's why he got put in. He was great. They're, they're going to be a good team to bet on. Who do you have in, in your votes? Uh, uh, I think Dugowie three. Yeah. And then I didn't – I actually didn't know. On the Sunday footy show, they said then the two Dagos boys, two and one. I did mean, yeah, they said Josh two, Nick one, but you can go Nick two, Josh one. Yeah, I I, I missed that the start bit, but that's what I had. I had to go E three, Nick two, Josh one. Josh one, yeah, and then Tom Mitchell. And still, like, and even though Jeremy, Scott, Pendlebury, Scott Pendlebury after that, Jeremy Cameron, yeah, they were all good. Um, one thing I don't have one Collingwood player in my pyramid, and I feel terrible about it. But who is their best player? Is it Darcy Moore? Is it Jordan Degoe? Is it Nick Dacos? Is it Tom Mitchell? Is it Scott Pendlebury? Is it Josh Dacos? Who is it? Fucking Braden Maynard, who I love. Who is their best player? Because they have like 10 guns. Well, I think their MVP is Darcy Moore. Like if you Darcy have to, I, I think if you're having to, like someone has to miss a grand final, who don't you want to miss? Yeah, yeah. So Darcy Moore is their most valuable. Darcy Moore is their MVP. Nick Dacos is like their Ferrari. And then Jordan Degoe is probably the reason they're going to win so yep. many games. Like, if he runs around in the midfield, he gets forward. Yeah, they, they're they a good side. They look yep. like they're going to be a top four lock. They were unbelievable. They're going to be good to bet on. Um, unbelievable. On the Saturday? Yeah. You and me, we actually like this game. North versus West Coast, a thriller under the lid. North win by five points. Nick Larkey kicked the first at 10 to 1, and then he kicked five more after that. What do you reckon? Yep. Well, I checked. Well, he was playing... Like lows, couples for twos, but he's kicked bags a few times. He kicked seven against the Blues not long ago. Seven but against I just, the Swans last year. I was there. Fuck. Now here's one for you because we'll touch on Harry Sheasel because I messaged you early. Like he got drafted as the most explosive forward in the draft. Correct. He's kicked two or three in every one of these game practice matches. I watched the one against North and I'm like, 
I messaged you straight away. I'm like, he's kicking a goal. And then comes out late. Oh, he might play a little bit off halfback. I'm like, oh, maybe a little bit just to get a few touches. Played the whole game off halfback. Had 34. I had written down. Have a guess what Sheasel was paying for 15 touches. Oh, fuck. Like a dollar ninety for fifteen. Two thirty. Ah, uh, two thirty for fifteen. He would have been. I. Oh, he would have been. I, you couldn't. I, I, I don't think he was even on the screen for thirty. Like it would have been like twenty nine dollars. Oh so that's going to change. <laughs> You'll never get him for two thirty for fifteen ever again. No, so if you're lucky enough, and but him for a snag was a dollar thirty three, but he obviously didn't play Ford, so the bookies would have actually doubled yeah, that up. You had you had Cheezel for a snag in the hundred k multi. He yeah. said after the game that he only got told this week that he was playing half back round one, so you're a bit stiff there. Yeah, and then I had a uh, LDU twenty um, five. I thought he was he was sensational. He was unbelievable. I had him for twenty five at a dollar twenty six and a hundred k. That hit. He was great. He had a great game. I carried on a bit of a pork chop. I said Ben Cunnington would kick a snag after I got a bit of inside word. He did a crack. That, that bet will go on ice for a while. He did have a crack, but that bet's gone on ice for a bit. So I see him play a bit full forward. Uh, yeah. Another one. Better talk about the other team, Dask. Did West Coast do a preseason? No. I don't like, think they did a preseason. They like, they're still on a premiership hangover. They won in yeah. 2018 and they're still ro- reaping the rewards. I actually, what do you reckon they're good at? Because their pressure is average. They look slow and old to me, and their kicking isn't anything special. So I don't know what they're actually good at. The only well, thing I've got for them is Liam Ryan. Like, he kept that game close by himself. Or the rookie, Ru- Ruben, G- Ruben Jinby, is going to be a fucking gun. He's, he's going to be a gun. He's a monster. But, like, Liam got, Ryan. like Dom Sheed looked really small. Luke Shuey, he, he asked for a handball out the back from Ginby and couldn't. Couldn't kick it 25 yeah. minutes. His hammers are done. Petrucelli isn't so quick slow. anymore. Darling's yeah, just... Slow. They're just a done... So, but they've got so many ex-premiership players, but they're just not good. Yeah, they are. They've missed a trick here, and they're going to waste another season. Like, I know Kane Corn said it. They should have traded out McGovern, Darling, like all these guys out of the side and given the keys to like Oscar Allen, Liam Ryan, the young guys. But yeah, I reckon they've missed a trick. They're going to be shit outs. Who'd you have for the votes? Well... I don't – well, I think it's Larky, LDU, and Sheasel, but I don't know what order to put him. I think if you kick six, you've got to be the three, don't you? I'd, I'd put him at the two. Yeah. I'd, I'd Sheasel three just because I think that he he had a couple of little mistakes, but he was quarterback and slice and dice all day. Larky kicked six, so he yeah, has to get it. But LDU did all the grunt work and was like just the perfect – set everyone up in the middle, so – Look, you could you can put him in any order, but just for the sake of it, I just reckon umpires might say, "Look, they know it's his first game. How impressive! Like best on." Yeah, I went Larky three, LDU two, Sheasel one. I know we had thirty four, but I think LDU's game was probably a bit more impactful, a bit better, and he kicked the snag as well. Larky six, he six is three votes for mine, and then yeah, Sheasel was unbelievable on debut. He was fucking awesome. Uh, the next game was a bit of a fucking weird one. Port hosting Brisbane, pumped them by 54 points. An absolute game of two halves. So Todd Marshall kicked the first at $10.50. Horn Francis kicked the second, and then it was all Brisbane until half time. And then what happened, Dave? Well, they fucking, after they came in, out after half time, they genuinely were just happy with themselves and did not get near it. Their, their midfielders, apart from Dunkley, who I thought played pretty well most of the game, they just couldn't get their hands on it. And they were just getting – it was like a tsunami. Like how many to- – I think there was like three clearances in a row. And I thought I was watching a replay. It was just the Hornet just running out of the midfield, going Jeez. nuts. But How much does he look like a mix of Pat Dangerfield and Nathan Buckley combined? Like he's his rig, the lock. He's huge. Yeah, he's huge. I got down here. Port had nine different goal kickers. Todd Marshall with four. That's a good game. Uh, yeah. Big Charlie Dixon, Lockie Jones, Junior Rioli with three. Junior Rioli was great. He's going to be a good player for them. Yep. I took Connor Rosie for an anytime goal in the 100K multi. That was a dollar fifty-two. He was good. Um, yeah. yeah. Was just Charlie, Dixon, Charlie, Dixon could have had, Charlie Dixon could have had six. Yeah, and his hands were the best they've been um, yep. for a couple of years. Let's talk about Brisbane. They looked arrogant. They looked shot. They looked slow. Lockie Neal had a shocker. McCluggage yep. had a shocker. Charlie Cameron had a shocker. Like, they were – like, Jack Gunston had a shocker. They were average. Jack Gunston had one kick for the first half pretty much, and it was a kick off the ground, a toe poke. 
But and I know you can't put on a young kid, but Will Ashcroft, like I had him for twenty. I don't think he's had under twenty since he was in his mum's room. Honestly, honestly, that kid is a fucking star. And that the goalie kick was really good, but he barely got near it. Um, but he genuinely looked like a kid that um that he was playing against Ben the first time. Like, yeah, he, he tried to go near the ball, and it was just like he had no idea what to fucking do. Like he went there, like he he couldn't go in. I was waiting for a dish out the back, but no one was no one was getting first the footy, and they were just going they were going bananas. So yeah, yeah, they got some salt. They got Melbourne this week. Got to give Horn Francis a bit of love. I'm I'm you and me are pretty critical of him. We went and watched him play for North last year, and he was dog shit. His body language, but he was great. Twenty five touches, two goals, however many score involvements, contested possessions. He was very good. We actually. You go. It could have been easy for Port to crack the shits. They were down twenty-two to five free kicks at half time. And then they just fucking came out and just said, nah, let's go. Back yeah. against the wall. Like it was it was a good half of footy. We've actually got a follower that lives in Adelaide that DM'd us saying Horn Francis 25 lock. And I laughed at him and I replied saying 25 crack the shits. And then he re- messaged me after the game. He goes, It paid 440 for Horn Francis to have 25. Fuck. But see, even that, that's something I just never would have thought. Yeah. I, I agree. Yeah. I might have touched 15 maybe, but I just watched him last year. And I, yeah, if he does it again, we'll start betting on him. But for now, I'm just like, I'm proud. I'm happy for him. He was great. But yeah. Uh, who who he votes? Uh, I actually don't know. I missed a little bit of this game. So I don't know. I'll have to have Marshall in there. Uh, you tell me. I went through, like, I he was a split for one or two, but I just saw the three young boys. I thought Francis, Rosie, and Butters. Even though yep. Butters didn't get that much, but they were just – that was them in the middle and they were just working. Like when they weren't going outside, like in straight through the corridor, I thought those three were unreal. The Hornet definitely three, Rosie two, and then you could give a million guys. Like Willie Rioli yeah. could probably get one. Like all these guys were setting up. Connor Rosie has some class about him. He looks good out in the footy field, doesn't he? The way he moves, he's kicking, he's a nice player. All right, uh, next. You, I didn't watch all of this one, but Melbourne and the Doggies. Melbourne and the Dogs. D's get the job done easily by 50 points. Cozzy Pickett kicked the first at 14 to 1, then kicked three more and was probably best on ground of honest. He was unbelievable. What did you see? Well, it just it was a not a bad contest at the start, but we said like the two, last two, they had the grand final and then round one where the dogs smack uh the bull uh, Melbourne smashed them. They lost at Eddie Had, but the Bulldogs just get two lost out on the G. Yeah. Like the, they they don't I'm play kidding. like it's, it's it's a it's a completely different side, and like Melbourne just used the ball really well. Like, like their like other quarterback is um, Andrew Brayshaw. Uh, sorry, a- Angus Brayshaw. Like he get I think he had like another ten uncontested marks, yeah. and he just he fuck he just sets him up. Like go to him, he'll use the ball really well. They've just got a lot of good ball users. And like I saw some footage of just Petrarca running straight out the front of stoppages at full speed. Clayton doing the same. Like their midfielders don't defend enough because because they're so good. They go head to head. They don't defend, and then their defense is shit. Like I don't know, the four tools didn't work. I didn't think it would. No. Yeah, I don't know. I've so Clayton Oliver. He had thirty three. That was my bet of the week in the hundred k. He's the best yep. player in the comp for mine. That paid a dollar sixty eight for thirty. Petrarca. Anyone that had Petrarca for an anytime goal kicker should feel sick. He had yep. thirty. He paid a dollar forty five for twenty five and two twenty for thirty. And then Cozzy Pickett, when he gets back, he'll have a three-week spell, you'd say, wouldn't you? Yeah, fuck. It was a good year. <laughs> I think he's at least two weeks. So he's he's coming into my 2-15 and 15 club. You know what's my favourite club? He kicked four and had 19. He paid $2.12 for 15 touches. Two twelve for 15, yeah. $2.20 for two. $5.30 yep. for three. And yep. $13 for four goals. God, yep. 13 bucks for four. And he had four and nine. He had him for four and 15. For, oh, you would be cashing in. And then, yeah, that if you had him for four and 15, that would have paid over 26 to one. Would have paid like 28 to one. God, that would have been nice. And then I came on the 100K and and the here comes the money pod. And I said, I've got inside word at the D's training that Ben Brown had been training the house there. Didn't I? I said that, didn't I, though? Yep, he did. It's been a fire. Told everyone two bucks for two was just wrong. He kicked two. He actually he also kicked four. He paid four forty for three and ten dollars for four. 
ten dollars for four. Like that's ten all bucks you need. Four. You just need four. Two bucks for two. Fuck, you just need a good matchup and just hope that they fucking tee off. Unbelievable. And then this is the thing about the dogs. So whether you like them or not or you rate them or not, they can be good to bet on. So McRae had 33 and a goal. He paid $3.40 for an anytime goal and a dollar forty nine for 30. Libba had 32 and a goal. He was two sixty five for a goal and three sixty for 30. Trelaw had 32 and a goal. He was two twenty five for a goal and two ninety for thirty, and That's then Baslinka had twenty seven. He was a dollar forty four for twenty five, and then Bont twenty five and a goal. So their mids filled up on goals and touches. They always do all of them, especially under the lid. They're the best team to bet on. Oh yeah, always do. They just share it around. They fling it around. So it's good to see their midfielders all kick the goal. That'll be good for the hundred k future. Like McRae yep. bringing goals into his game will be absolute value all year. Um, um, who who do you have in your votes? I'm thinking Cozzy three, yeah, Oliver two, and then I've got Jake Lever or Petrarch for one. I saw Jake Lever had 20 touches. He had like nine intercept marks. He just had a Jake Lever game. It depends. It's a midfielder's award, so it might be Petrarch for his 30. But Jake Lever was sensational. Who do you have? I, I you just had to give it to Cozzy. Uh, I Petrarch for two. He had like eight clearances, 18 of them kicks, which they yeah. love. And six inside fifties. So yeah. he kicked the goals like he'd probably be closer. And I also had Gorn for one. Yeah, like he had, two, yeah, he had twenty and two, didn't he? Twenty and two and fifteen contested possessions. So yeah. he was. He is. He he's loved fun. having Brody Grundy in the side. Like he's 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 a gun. So I think. Yeah, yeah. I, so I think you got to give Cosy just because he was he was so impactful. Um, I think Petrarca just because the way he uses it, and then. Gorn's just a fucking animal. So now they, go up, they play Brisbane this week at the Gabba. They get back Is Jack it? Viney, Stephen May, uh, Bailey Fritch, and one more. They probably lose Cozzy Pickett. And Brisbane coming off the way they played, poor. Who they, they bring in? Spargo? Spar- yeah, fuck. They're in, I don't know, I, I like Melbourne early in that game. I don't know what your early lines pod is saying, but poor, I, I like Melbourne early. I can, t- I can tell you what the odds are. And- you actually will shit your pants. No, unless, tell me. Unless it, unless it's a change in the last minute. Brisbane minute. a favourite. Oh, give a me a dollar ninety to a dollar ninety four. Don't worry, it's 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 going to be a big chat tomorrow. But give me all up. of the days. Brisbane a half a point. Oh, oh. give me the days. All right, so we'll go. We're we'll going the next game, the next Saturday night game. My boys. Swans versus Gold Coast. Swans dominated by 49. You didn't really watch this one, did you? I barely watched any of it. I went to bed. I was fucking buggered. So I, all I, know, I, watched, I watched the highlights this morning, though, and I just saw the butthole Warner running rampant. I saw Bud kick the first. Uh, what else did I see? I'll get, I'll get through this one. So we genuinely dominated them from the opening bounce till the final sign. Like, absolutely dominant. They looked like the first year Suns when Ablett went there. They were shit out. Bud kicked the first at ten bucks fifty, and then he kicked the second. We had twelve different goal kickers, and Chad wanted to kick zero goals three, so it should have been thirteen different goal kickers. Errol yep. Gunn kicked the goal; he paid a dollar seventy three any time. Awesome. His goal was from like seventy. He is all class. He's great to watch. Harry Cunningham kicked two; he paid two twenty five for one. He was he was sort of playing on the wing, and then like Zach Tui does, like running deep, deep into the goal square. And you know when the play just gets on one side, you're on the other wing. You just end up deep in the forward pocket. He kicked two. Dill Stevens, he kicked one, paid two dollars eighty. My man Jesus Tom Pavley, my man Tom Pavley, two and fifteen club. He had exactly two and fifteen. Paid two bucks for two and a dollar fifty four for fifteen. Chad Warner thirty. He paid a dollar twenty four for twenty, which we had in the hundred k. Yeah, yeah. Two dollars three for twenty five, and four dollars thirty for thirty. Unbelievable. And oh. then, how's this? So, Dill Stevens, 20, he had 27 touches. For yep. 15, he paid $1.49. For yep. 20, he paid $3.30. And for 25. 25, he paid 12 bucks for 25 Give me that. I wish oh. I was on that 12 bucks. Imagine you had Cozzy Pickett for four into Dill Stevens for 25 That's 13 and 12 That would have paid 100 to 1. That's actually fucked. 
And then one of my bets of the week was Errol Gordon for 20. I had in the 100K. He paid he paid $1.50 and he had 24. He was great. My you brown low votes. Yeah, who who you votes? Chad Warner, three. Yeah. Dill Stevens, two. And then probably Dane Rampey for one. He was actually sensational. He just set us up to win the game. Um, He's a you could have thrown a blanket over the Swans fine, but I'm giving it Dane Rampey. I thought he was fucking great. Yeah. And wait till yeah. um, Chad Warner. But that's a that's a thing that we'll look at, especially next week. Guys that didn't kick goals, Harry Mackay only kicked one. He'll kick a couple probably this week, if not the next week. Charlie yeah. Cameron didn't get near it. Chad exactly. Warner didn't kick a goal. So this is where you're either hot or you're due, and this is where we absolutely lap it up. 100%. Oh, yeah, we do. All right, GWS um, versus Adelaide. GWS got it done by 16 points in what was actually a great game. Um, big Matt Flynn, the Ruckman, he kicked the first at 41 to 1. He was the last person he could bet at 41 to 1. That's and then fucked. in the first half, it was all Adelaide. Isaac Rankin had one of the best first halves I've ever seen. 14 Good. disposals, 10 score involvements, five marks inside 50, two goals, four. That should have been five goals and it would have been game over. He missed some two. He missed two easy set shots. And how good did the Crows look in the first half? Yeah, they were running all over him, slice and dice footy. Um, and everything like, you were saying, we're like, GWS are playing this dog shit stop start handball over the top footy, which was like very, very stagnant. And then um, they just fucking turned it around. Just not not overnight. Like they just one goal at a time started to work their way into it. Yeah. Um, one that we said we definitely keep. Yeah, after half time, it was one man and one man only that clawed JWS back into it. Toby fucking Green. He, he, going was, up. he was sensational. He was fucked. And he, he said after the he said after the game, it was the hardest game of football he's ever played in. What was it? Thirty five degrees and sunny or something. They were yes. fucked after the game. Everyone. So they were down to pretty much one player for the last quarter and then they got through. And it was Whoa. just fucking and like Nick Haynes was Sitting at full forward, he couldn't move. He kicked that goal and just crammed for his celebration. Yeah. This, this, isn't a segment. this isn't a segment, but our hero of the week. <laughs> hero of the week. He went um, to handball it off twice, couldn't. So he just decided to go back a few extra steps and dob the sealer from 40. It was fucking – it was awesome. Yeah. Uh, who'd you um, have in your vote? Oh, well, first – yeah, Toby Green had four goals, four and 19 touches. That should have been six goals. He missed yeah. some easy set shots. He said he was in my two, he's going to be in my two and 15 club. Dollar 97 for 15, I loved. Dollar 35 for two. Two dollars 12 for three. And then he was five dollars for four. So that's good value for the yeah, coat of great. GWS. Some other legs. Josh Rochelle had three and 18. He paid three dollars 80 for 15 touches. He had 18. Yep. Isaac Rogan, two dollars five and 18. Should have been five. He paid two dollars 65 for 15. Lean, clean, mean, Tom Green. I had him in the 100K for 25. He had one goal in 37. How's this? He paid $1.44 for 25, $2.50 yep. for 30, and then $2.45 for a goal. I don't know what he paid for 35. And Cornelio, he was great after halftime. Yeah. He paid, he had a goal in 32. He paid $1.74 for 25, $3.35 for 30. And a dollar sixty nine for a goal, and then your man Finn Callahan, you had him in the hundred k. No, he he did really well. I was about to touch on him in a minute, but for him for um fifteen touches, we said that this would get smashed in over the next few weeks just because he's going to take a more midfield role. But a dollar forty eight, he had twenty five, so that was a good one. Um, my my votes I went through. I think we'll agree. We had Toby for three, and the t- I gave him three, and the two. No, I gave him yeah. three. Lean, mean, Tom Green, two. Lean, mean, Tom Green for two. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I went Rochelle for one. Yep. Only I've because I, yeah. only three goals, won 18 touches, helped him, kept him in the game. Rankin's first first half, like he had eight touches, one goal, three. Second quarter, six touches, one goal, one. Yeah. Third quarter, two touches, one point. Fourth yeah. quarter, two touches. Yeah. So, I, know it's how you, I know it's how you finish games, and he was unbelievable at the start. But if you look at when push come to shove, and how did he help Adelaide in the second half? And he was there was nowhere to be seen. And as I said, as you said, Cog, Cogs was really good. But yeah, I've got I, Cogs. I think for I think one. at the end. I've got Cogs for one. Yes, Toby, Tom, and then we got a flip. Yeah, we got Rochelle, we got Cornelio. Cornelio got him. He was getting some nice center clearances and some nice yeah. inside fifties after halftime. So. 
Yeah, that was a that was a that was actually a really good game. That was definitely second best game of the week. That was fucking good. Uh, um, we'll go over Hawthorne, Ess- uh, Hawthorne Essendon just quickly. Bombers blew them out by fifty nine points. It was about seventy one with two minutes to go. It was ugly. Mason Redmond kicked the first. You couldn't even bet on him to kick the first. He was over forty one to one. Was the, a Hawks a little, the Hawks had a little crack. They kicked four of the next five goals after Mason Redmond kicked that, but then Essendon just blew them the fuck out. What did you see? Well, our team captain, Jeff, he was the captain of the 100K last year, James Sicily for 20 touches. He sits around $1.28. He had 30. I don't yeah, know what he was paying for 30. I'm pretty sure you might have it there, but Sicily, so, he's, the, he's the captain. He's going to demand the footy. He takes all the kickouts. Hawthorne are going to get scored on so much this year. He probably had 30 kicks from full back. Yeah, and he was he was angry. Yeah, he had, yeah, he had 30 30 cracks the shits at umpires. Yeah, no, he cracks the shits. He's the worst he captain paid, in the league. He paid twenty five uh, for twenty five. He paid two dollars twenty five, and for thirty he paid five dollars fifty. That's that'll happen more than once this year. Five dollars oh, fifty. He, he'll be okay, getting okay. thirty more than you know. Against the teams. Oh, hundred percent. Um, Archie Perkins. He had three goals, three and twenty touches. That's yeah, a good, good game. He paid two seventy five for two and seven bucks for three goals. Mind and then you, he, paid, he paid five fifty for twenty. So it's seven bucks for three and five fifty for twenty. So thirty five to one for Archie Perkins' game. That's a big game. Fuck, that is massive. Um, <laughs> yeah. what, what, about, what about the blue inclusion set of feeties? Twenty five and a snag. I don't. I can look it up for you. I don't know what he paid. Oh, I've fuck it. Luke, don't, don't Luke, even Bruce here, Luke Bruce here, the professional forward, he kicked three. He paid three twenty for three, dollar sixty seven for two. He's a gun. Mason I'd, Redmond. I did two. Yeah. Two goals and twenty four touches. He paid a dollar seventy for twenty. And Darcy Parrish thirty five. He paid a dollar sixty seven for thirty. Don't know what he paid for thirty five, but he just that's just what he does. He just gets his ball. It's pretty short. He's like a dollar Low dollar twenties or dollar thirties for thirty, but Jeb, I did have a bad beat in this one. Yeah, Luke did. Bruce, wait, wait, tell me what leg you don't reckon's winning. Luke right. Bruce for two, Alan Davy for a goal, yeah. Sisley for twenty, John Newcomb for twenty, or Zach Merritt for twenty five. Like that, they all seem like pretty, pretty Great. standard legs. Maybe, like maybe, even though I loved the first game, and maybe Alan Davy doesn't kick a goal. Yeah, well, we had John Newcomb plays around the footy the whole fucking game, and he had 19. He actually got his hands on it in the last 60 seconds and couldn't handball it. So, so he had 19. So I've lost that multi by an by B's dick, Jeff. That, that's good. one of those ones that you just feel sick, feel sick about. Um, yeah, we started this pot at halftime in the Bachelors game. About three-quarter time now. The, the Dockers are up by six points. Mickey Fredley kicked the first in that game. And then I just want to... I'll just give you one good win I had for the weekend. So I put fifty dollars on this multi das. Clayton Oliver thirty. Yeah. Triker twenty five. Tick yep. tick. Bailey Smith twenty five. Tick. Yep. Bont twenty five. So he went yep. to the bench with six minutes to go. I'm like, oh, he's done. They've put him on ice. He came back on with the a minute to go after the D's kicked the goal. He was in the last centre bounce and he got the clearance. I'm like, oh my god. So he got his twenty five in the last minute. Chad Warner, 20. Errol Goulden, 20. Tom Papley, 15. I had 50 on that. Won 750 bucks. Paid 15 to 1. Well done. That is a good multi, so I'm fucking happy with that. That was a good multi. Did you have any winners or did you have a stiff first week? I had a stiff first week, but like just off the 100K league, like the first three legs, like they could come out and hit apart from – like I had Sheasel for a snag. He was obviously playing backline. Ashcroft and Cameron for two. They just got muscled out of it. Had Petrarca for 25 and a goal, which hit. Had Cozzy for a goal. Um, Tuke Miller for 25. Chad Warner for 20. Uh, ben Keyes for 20. Finn Callahan had 25 touches. And James Sisley had 20 touches. So not too yeah. bad. It was just it was just like the start. Um, like that Brisbane game, they just got ran over. But at home, I think Charlie Cameron will probably have 12 games this year where he kicks two goals. So not too concerned on that. I'm sure he'll bounce back. In the 100K multi, I've put in 12 legs. Davies Uniac for 25, tick. Rosie Gold, tick. Oliver, 30, tick. Papley, 15 and 2. Warner, 20, tick. Noel Anderson for 25 was my only loss. Then I had Tom Green, Toby Green for 25 and 15. And now I've got Freo head to head. Brayshaw for 25. He's got 23 at three quarter time. Three at three quarter time. And then I got five for two. He hasn't kicked one yet. So that's in a bit of trouble. 
Big five. He's nowhere to be seen. He's done. Oh, how good is this? You know, I lost um that Hawthorne bet by a uh, bee's dick. Yep. They gave it back to me in bonus bets. Yeah, because one leg fails, you get your cash back. Yeah, but it wasn't even a cash back one. Fuck oh, yeah, you beauty. You deserve it. And then uh, here comes the money. So I've had, I had a couple of losers, but I've got this right in. To win 200 bucks, got 50 on it. Ben Brown to kick two, tick. Errol Gould for 20, tick. And now I've got Freo head-to-head. I gave that out in the Here Comes the Money YouTube show. So I'm going to ride Freo because I need this 200 bucks for the show. How'd you oh, go in Here Comes the Money? No, nah, mate, no good. I was uh, I was a bit sip. I had Ashcroft and I had fucking Brisbane. Oh, yes. They, they like give me. I had Chad Warner for 20, but then over on the other side, I had Ashcroft for 20, didn't get near it. I had Petrarca for 25, Finn Callahan and Ben Keyes both for 15. So I thought yes, that was man. a lot. I thought one that was man. a lot. So, so just one left off that one. I need Freo to win here and uh, the show's yeah. away. He wins the money's away. All right. All right. Well done, mate. Hey, good pod. Let's hope let's hope this takes off. We'll post it. We'll hope some people listen. We'll message a couple of the boys. We'll get some feedback. Hopefully some it's of the followers give some feedback. If it's too long, if it's not funny, whatever you want, we'll change. Get a couple of other boys on. By the way, next week we'll have more of the game screenshotted. We only have the second half. So then that way we'll actually be able to discuss more odds throughout the game. Every, every odds. Like breaking on. Birkin, Spain 12 to kick three or whatever it was. Because he picked a backload to kick four. Good to actually know the odds because I've got in a little folder on my laptop now. I'll be able to go back and see yep. what everyone paid and, yeah, we'll be able to just build as the season goes on. Let's go. Hey, good work, Dave. I'll, uh, what are you having for dinner? I'm having, I'm having a big Tuvalaki. I don't know what I'm having. I'm waiting for Megan to get home and we'll uh, see what we're having. Yeah, I'm going to run top end. <laughs> Stop it. All right, see ya. Up the potty. Up the really? docking. Come on the dock.